Hi, this is Kevin for Sonova.com. What you're listening to here is sidechain compression in Sony Acid Pro using a built-in plugin called Sony Wave Hammer Surround. The lower tracks volume is being used to influence the upper volume, upper tracks volume. Producing that jazzy sound that you just heard. Now this technique works with Sony Acid Pro and it also works with Sony Vegas Pro, but in my opinion it's slightly more useful for Sony Vegas. I'm going to quickly run through the setup here. Both of these tracks are running to uh, the same bus, bus A, and if we look at bus A, you'll notice that I've put the Sony Wave Hammer Surround. And if we look at the settings in Sony Wave Hammer Surround, you can see I'm using it as an audio compressor. The settings there giving us that rapid change in the signal each time the beat comes in. And as you can see in the routing tab, I've chosen the left channel to control the right channel. So basically what I've done, if we go back up to the tracks, you'll see that I've panned the receiving channel all, all the way to the right and the control channel all the way to the left. And uh, if you're happy using compression and routing, then that's all you really need to know to set it up. But what I want to do also is to run you through the setup here so you can see exactly how I did it. So I've opened up the original tracks and this is what they sound like before any effects have been applied. Remember, in the final mix, we're not going to hear the drums at all. We're just going to hear the effect that the drums have on the cello. The main drawback with this particular technique is that you're going to be working with mono. You can work with stereo, but it requires double the amount of work. First thing to do, therefore, is to right-click on any of the tracks, choose Event Clip, then go down to Channels, and in Channels, choose Combine. Now you've got a mono track. Do that for both tracks. Now go to the pan slide to the pan slider and make sure that you slide the receiving track so it's taken all the way to the right. The control track is hard panned all the way to the left. Now we're gonna go to the mixing console and here we're gonna add we're going to insert a bus. If you can't see anything after you insert the bus, just go to show all and you should see your bus there. I've input I've inserted another bus and I'm going to go to the first track and I'm going to choose the first bus, bus A, and again for the second track. Now what we're going to do is to go to bus A and we're going to choose dynamic, dynamics. We're going to choose a Sony Wave Hammer Surround. Now the settings we need for audio compression of this sort is fairly low attack, fairly low release. Just going to increase the ratio. And the next thing is to go to the routing tab and make sure you choose the left channel as the control channel and the right channel as the effect. Now we go back to the mixing console and what we should see there is the bus A and if we go down to the pan slider we can move that all the way to the right. Now still that doesn't sound right, so we're going to right click and choose constant power. And constant power is the best choice for mono. But that still doesn't sound right, so I'm going to go back up to the tracks and see what's happening up there. It's immediately clear what the problem is. I've chosen bus B rather than bus A. Both of them have to go to the same bus.
So now we can hear the effect. But we've still got only one mono output. In order to duplicate that output, we can take bus A and output it to bus B, and then just move the pan slider halfway to the left, so it's at 50% left. And now we've got sound coming out of both speakers. Now if we go back to bus A and go back to the wave hammer surround, in the volume maximizer I'm just going to turn down the output level so that we've got less chance of clipping. And having done that, we've more or less got the effect that I wanted. The beat is completely silent. All we're hearing is the effect that the beat has on the cello. However, as I said, this particular technique can also be used in Sony Vegas. And in that situation, what you're likely to have is someone talking, music in the background. And whenever someone is talking, you want the music in the background to go right down. In that situation, you would need slightly different settings in, in the wave hammer surround. And the settings you'd want would be slightly lower threshold, and that really kills the noise, and a slightly higher ratio. The most important thing is to have a, a longer release time, half a second, maybe even a second. And what that does is that it completely drowns out the background sound whilst the control is active. But the control in this situation would be someone maybe doing a translation or talking. So you'd want to route a duplicate of the control to the master, center it, and that will allow you to hear everything even when the compression is taking place. And in actual fact, this is how this particular video was made. So I hope you found that useful. If you've got any questions, feel free to leave a comment below or you can email me. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please rate it. Maybe even subscribe for more videos. Till next time, take care. Bye.